Hello, everyone. Today, we delve into the intricacies of gas exchange. Join me on a journey through the fascinating processes that enable life forms to breathe and sustain themselves. Let's unravel the mysteries of how gases traverse biological membranes, ensuring the vitality of living organisms. The human gas exchange system. Cartilage is the trachea and bronchi, which helps to maintain the structure, structural integrity, preventing collapse during breathing and ensuring a constant airflow. Ciliated epithelium is found in the respiratory tract, including trachea, bronchi, and some bronchus. It is a single layer of cells whose outer surfaces are covered with many thin extensions, cilia which are able to move. They sweep mucus upward towards the mouth, which is helping to prevent dust particles and bacteria reaching the lungs. Goblet cells are found in ciliated epithelium. They separate mucus, which trap dust particles and bacteria. Smooth muscle cells are found in a wall of the trachea, bronchi, and bronchioles. Can contract slowly, but for a long period without tiring. When the contract, it reduces the diameter of the tubes. During exercises, it relaxes, widening the tubes so more air can reach lungs. Elastic fibers are found in the wall of all tubes between alveolus. When breathing, these fibers stretches to allow alveoli and airways to expand. When breathing out, they require helping to reduce the volume of alveoli and expel air out of the lungs. Gas exchange at the alveolar surface. The air inside alveolus contain high concentration of oxygen and lower concentration of carbon dioxide than the blood in capillaries. The blood has many brought to the lungs in pulmonary artery, which carry the oxygenated blood from the you can see from the blue artery, where the blood has been brought to the lung in pulmonary artery which carry the oxygenated blood from the heart. Oxygen therefore refuse, diffuses from the alveolus into the blood capillaries through thin wall of the alveolus and the capillary. And carbon dioxide diffuses from the capillary into the blood. The diffusion gradients for these gases are maintained by breathing movement and also the blood flow. And the breathing movement which draw air from outside the body into the lungs and push it out again. This maintain a relatively high concentration of oxygen and low concentration of carbon dioxide in the alveoli. Blood flow past the alveoli which bring the oxygenated blood and carries away oxygenated blood. Effect of smoking on gas exchange and cardiovascular system. Let's looks into the gas exchange. First, we, the person will experience chronic obstructive pulmonary disease or so-called COPD. Person who has chronic bronchitis and epicema, it can be extremely disabling. Number two, effect of smoking is chronic bronchitis. Various components of cigarette smoke including tar, can cause goblet cells to increase mucus production and cilia to beat less strongly. And these cause mucus to build up may partially block alveolus. So this makes gas exchange more difficult as deficient distance between the air in alveoli and blood in capillaries is greater. Mucus infected with bacteria causing bronchitis. Mucus stimulate persistent coughing can damage tissues in the wall of the airways, making them stiffer and airways narrower. And another effect of smoking is on 
emphysema. Smoking can cause inflammation in the lungs, which is can increase the number of white blood cells and some which secret chemical damage elastic bubble. And this makes all the life less elastic. This they may burst or re resulting in larger air spaces. And on top of that, it will reduce space area available for gas exchange. And the person with epicema have short breath, struggling to breath as deeply as they need, especially during exercising. And number four, the effect of smoking is on the lung cancer. Carcinogen on car can cause changes in DNA in blood cells, including genes that control cell division. Secret that smoke most likely to form in the lungs may form anywhere in the gas exchange system and any part of the body. And finally, we have effect of smoking is on cardiovascular system. First, we have the issues regarding atherosclerosis. The nicotine and carbon monoxide in tobacco smoke can increase developing the atherosclerosis. Atherosclerosis is thickening and loss of elasticity in the wall of arteries. Built up plug in the blood vessel wall, the plug can contain cholesterol and fiber. As such, they produce surface lining of artery which stimulate formation of blood clot. And this incident can cause stroke to the person. And on top of that, we also have a cardiovascular system disease, they call it as CHD or coronary heart disease. If esterochlorosis happens in coronary arteries that supply heart muscle with oxygenated blood, the person may have experienced CHD and part of the muscle may be unable to function properly as they do not have enough oxygen for aerobic respiration and at last, the muscle may die. That's all for today's presentation. Hope that you can jive with this presentation slide. And please don't forget to subscribe to Jom Stadilla YouTube channel. And hope to see you in the next presentation slide. Thank you very much.